Hi there and welcome to the chapter Understanding How We Learn and Grow. Why do we start here? <laughs> and the reason is normally we put up an enormous amount of resistance around learning and growing. We like the concept of learning and growing and logically in our brains we can think to ourselves that's the only way to get better in this world is to learn and grow. However, the journey to learn and grow is uncomfortable and so therefore we resist it. There are various concepts that we're going to move through in the lessons within this chapter that will help you get your mindset right around what goes on for you subconsciously that helps build up that resistance and what you can do consciously to help break that resistance down. We all want success, but the build up to success is a series of failures. You think about when you were first learning to ride a bike. Think about a baby learning to walk. Success looks like actually riding the bike without falling off. Success for the baby looks like actually walking without falling down. What happens all the way up to that point of success? A hell of a lot of failure. <laughs> that baby is falling down over and over again and you're wobbly and falling off the bike over and over again. Yet at that young age, we get encouraged to go out there and keep on trying. We don't say to a little baby, oh, you've tried 10 times to walk now to this little toddler. You obviously can't do it, just stop trying. <laughs> no way. We don't say to a child, you fell off the bike three times, therefore you obviously don't have the skill to do it, so you should just stop trying. We see so clearly in little children that growth and learning only come after a series of failures. Indeed, they can't get to that set level of success without the failures, and we accept it at that age. For some reason, by the time we reach adulthood and start working in a dental surgery, Failures and mistakes no longer are acceptable. However, it is still how we learn and grow. And so it is the dental practices with the leadership who really do embrace what it takes for us to learn and grow and provide that supportive environment around for people to be able to learn and grow. They're the ones that achieve great success. And so we encourage you to really jump into the next few lessons of this chapter discover consciously how you learn and grow and what you can do in your brain to make sure that you embrace the journey because that is the quickest way to success when you don't resist the journey. So enjoy.